hard sparring versus light sparring which one is better which one's more beneficial which one should you be doing on this video i'm going to tell you my thoughts on hard sparring versus light sparring My name is Tony Jeffries, Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European champion. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a debate that a lot of people get into, which is better, hard sparring or light sparring. And I'm gonna give you all my thoughts about this. When I was up and coming, I would say 80% of my sparring was hard sparring, where you're trying to beat the living daylights out of the other person. You're trying to hurt the other person unless they were a different level and you, they were a lot lighter than you, then you wouldn't really do it there. But yeah, we would hard spot all the time. But the way that I got brought up fighting, I thought that was normal. You know, I was with the kind of old school trainers from the beginning, all the way till the end, just about. So I thought that hard sparring was the way to go all the time, every time. Now, do I agree with this? Do I think that's right? And my answer is no. If you've got to go home and take headache tablets because your head is, you've got a migraine from being punched in the face, does that sound like that's the way it should be? Does that sound like you should be doing this? Absolutely not. Now, that being said, you are going to have some hard spars where you are trying to beat each other up because at the end of the day, you're getting in a fight where someone is going to be coming at you 100% trying to knock you out. So the odd, odd spar here and there is good. It's good for your preparation. It's good for your preparation for your fight. So if your coach is telling you to hard spar all the time, having you hard spar all the time, when you're leaving the gym with a headache, with a bust up nose, I would change coaches. Now I'm going to get a lot of coaches commenting on here telling me that I'm wrong. So what? This is my opinion. I really believe that people shouldn't be hard sparring all the time. It's going to do them harm in the long term. Now forget about the short term. Think about the long term. Because as a young fighter coming up, no one ever told me about the long term. I used to sometimes let people punch us in the face, which is idiotic. And I would let them, what's that? Now that is barbaric, that is ridiculous, absolutely stupid. Now if your coaches are letting you do stupid shit like that, Sorry, but you need to switch coaches. Now guys, I think light punching is the way to go for most of your training camps, for most of your boxing education, if you like, when you're trying to improve in boxing. I think light sparring is the way to go. You can do different things where one round you'll be counter punching, the next round he'll be counter punching. One round it's just lead hands only. Um, the other round, I can only throw two punches, then he throws two punches, I can throw two punches. Different things like that. Or you can throw a head shot, then a body shot. There's so many different things that you can work on in sparring to get better at boxing without trying to get hurt or trying to hurt your opponent or leave the, the sparring session with a bad head. That is it. That, that's, my, that's my views on sparring. If you agreed with me, let me know in the comments below. If you disagree with me, let me know in the comments below. If you know someone who is hard sparring all the time, please send them this video and please help educate them. If you enjoyed this video and want more videos like this, talking about boxing, boxing education, everything boxing, please subscribe to this YouTube channel where I upload videos like this every week. Thank you for watching.